What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off about last time, uh, in the last episode not much happened, really. I got some... there was some battling around and the Balkans helped clear out Istanbul. Fortunately the rebellion has been put down and Istanbul is now firmly under our control. And we also attacked the Polish Navy that decided to lay siege to us here at Turin and it established that this trade port is actually pretty important probably maybe more important than my uh, trade port in my actual capital surprisingly enough now you also want to resolve a battle, battle to take back Naples because we don't really didn't really need to fight it okay now let's start to Reinforce my armies as much as I possibly can. Yeah, we're not bankrupt anymore. That's a, that's a problem we solved. So don't go for wedge formation. Instead, go for crop rotation. Two turns, and it's a nice boost across the board. But I'm going to cut the recording because the Ottoman end turns are getting really annoying. So see you after the after their phase of the end turn is finished. They caught me out. <laughs> it sped past too quickly and I wasn't paying attention. But it turns out you can't trust the Ottomans because they pulled a bit of an old switcheroo. They managed to run around us. But it's a pretty naff army so I'm not massively concerned. But first, let's finally repair these buildings in Istanbul so we don't have to worry about them. Well, so we don't have to see the smoke rising up. Okay, let's run over to this side. <laughs> And they let us. Of course they let us. Let's rebuild the iron workshop. Because it's a prosperous iron workshop as well. It's going to be worth a lot of cash. Almost doubles the industry income. I'm probably going to send my priest back to Greece to keep converting the population to get rid of religious unrest at the very least. Larissa is developing, which I'm probably going to turn into a... Not a church school. Or maybe it should be a church school. Really, I could convert... I could convert Morea now. Or destroy the church school here and build a... A... Um, build a craft workshop or some such. I think I might do that. When Larissa is built, I'll destroy this seminary because the population will have been sufficiently converted enough to get rid of religious unrest. I can kind of keep my religious buildings on the front line. What I'm definitely going to do is attack this guy. So I'm not going to let his army or leave his army uncontested. So even though we are suffering from an amount of attrition, the amount of money we're getting a turn, we should be in a good position to push onwards to Bulgaria. Because that's that's the main position of where the Ottomans are reinforcing from. Like their general, their capital, well, their capital, Bulgaria was always generating troops and sending them out towards us. But because I am weak, I am going to hunker down and let them come towards me to repel them in a cost effective way. So they stay at a roughly three ranks deep. And these guys can guard the left and they might be used to push forward. The hussars that got almost destroyed are still alive. A, mini, a very tiny unit of marines can hold the flank. No, not square. Guard mode. Good. Hussars on the flank, general on the centre. Let us burn powder, gentlemen. What the hell are they? The Wallachian Boyar. Uh, 
pretty cool. More artillery naturally going into theirs. That's a main target. But let's pick. Oh no, attacking their battery is pretty good. All of these guys can form square, so I'm not really concerned. I'm going to let them fire a volley and then. Oh, who can't form square? Form a series of squares, let them just waste themselves on us. The artillery's not doing a great job, so they're going to go. These guys are going to pummel the Israeli. So the central unit of Marines is going to receive supporting gunfire from either square. So they've lost, we've lost 19 men. But they are doing, they are very, very poorly. problem is I don't want to change these guys formation because they're quite evenly spaced out these guys broke square now you guys need to start firing canister shot let's watch these Mussolini charge in Melee infantry, poor quality melee infantry. Slowly advancing towards our position. Ah, the Wallachians boys are back. Last canister shot at point blank range. because you guys are the provincial line I forgot about you guys tricksy little cavalry I'll probably end up disbanding that provincial line unit because what's the point in them give the weak units push towards their guns stronger units form more of a battle line Oh, there's my gunners. Cavalry to get back. My gunners. Pick up your guns once more. Actually, let's push my, my cavalry out on the flank. My infantry is in good condition. Can push up. I do see these camels. General's bodyguard, it is. They're being they're under fire. And then General, take care of those poor quality troops. So they're charging. I don't know. Well, it'll be this, the 18th on the flank. Everyone else poured a raid of gunfire into the camels. Shot, except just firing the Janissary Grenadiers. And there go the camels. Let's send a cavalry unit to deal with the camels. Bring you guys back. again just keep an eye out because these these guys are going to probably break and be a good target for my hussars yeah, fall back once more 
now let's bring my cavalry in to chase them down. Cavalry are good to chase down fleeing camels because they have such little speed. So look at that. It's really nice to kill camels routing like that. Let's hit them with my cavalry. Let's bring my general back to somewhere more useful. The Bashis want to try to chase down my cavalry, but I won't let them. And as I'm chasing a or oh, trying to skirmish my cavalry. That's not going to end too well for them. Push my troops forward. Right up into their face. So long, camels. They're lining up the Janissaries to try to get some shots off at us. Bashis, fortunately, have decided to chase after or to reform rather than charging my line, which is great. We lose some cavalrymen to Janice, we must get fire at range. General can chase down the Simonies. I know I've left guys behind, but they didn't really matter. I should just make, get my general to chase down the Orta. My main cavalry can continue to kill the Simonies. I think that's all of them. I think. Absolutely continue. You guys chase down the giant three grenadiers. Good stuff. Oh, my general. If you can kill these Isarei, that'd be great. Because plenty more guys to send them after. Another cavalry currently busy. So if I could kill you. Let's do it this way. Okay, you go after that Bashi Bazooka unit. You should probably get some more kills on them before our other target routes. Now they're the last unit on the map, they're about to rout. Yep, sadly, but we did lots of good damage to them. Oh no, wait a minute, they're not the last ones left. The Simonies are. There we go, and I got a bunch of cavalry to charge them with. Pathfinding's become much less of a problem. Look at that number tick down. Decisive, that's the word you like to see. So that's going to help push them back towards Bulgaria. That's some more reinforcements coming out of the city. Spend some cash rebuilding you guys. You guys also need cash, but try as you might, we do not have any. Maybe next turn. So, see you during the next, after the next end turn phase. Huh. This time I was so quick I don't even think I'm actually going to cut the part. <laughs> um, I don't think the Ottomans really did much that, that episode. Yeah, they did some raiding and they retreated. Let's 
Free build. Push up. So the main problem is we need to spend so much money rebuilding and replenishing our armies. Attack advance, crop rotation. Sweet, so we've got some good upgrades to farms. Too bad they are all so... We have to spend all our money reinforcing the battles we're fighting over here. Battles that aren't directly resulting in more cash. I'm sorry to say, but the unturned phase was quick, so I'm just, just going to click it. We need to really, really make some gains and well, just overall develop my economy, because right now I'm really not. And it's starting to cause not problems, but. Oh, France is. Not France. Britain's taken Algeria, so there's only one more territory left for the Barbary states for them to actually exist in. Which is amusing. So I don't want my city in Istanbul to be there forever. I want to replace it with a garrison force rather than a full on army. Because um, they don't need. You don't need a full army to defend a city like that. But we do need armies in the field that can push. To be honest, they may even push east over and take Ankara. May as well. Ankara is a wealthy region. It's got lots of towns. Especially if we spread the light of Western ideals towards them. We have lots of things we could upgrade, but we cannot upgrade. Signore. You guys are fully, fully replenishing as much as you can. Okay, let's rebuild. Naples. Let's put up the farm. And we've got iron workshop. We've got so much stuff we can do to make more cash. And cash. Cash breeds cash in this game. Wealth, growth, development, a newer university, more ports. So I'm going to put a galley to occupy that port. You know, probably safe for now. Okay, let's build the church school here. Let's get back to Italy, because Italy's got lots of very wealthy regions. So if we're going to upgrade anywhere, upgrading here will produce the biggest gain. Oh, they're both Iron Masters works, and they'll produce, both produce the same amount of cash, roughly. But let's take Ernesto Defendi. That's an auto result. Slaughter them, push on to Bulgaria, maintain siege for now, rebuild this great estate. You're still replenishing. Okay. You can. So we've got measuring tools. I've not gone, gone on a great road building scheme either. So it might be tempting for a couple of turns to hold off the whole conquering and attacking everyone. And actually spend a few turns just upgrading our infrastructure before we overspread. That will be the prudent decision, I think. See, that's the kind of thing that makes the Ottoman end turn stupid, is they spend time fidgeting pockets of troops all over the place. Here come the Russian gentlemen. Mughals have to ship more troops over to America. It's not our concern at the moment. I want to be in a position where I'm making so much money I don't even care. That's the place to be in. See, so you're very poor, so that's a, that's a bad way to spend money. I mean, it sounds so counterintuitive, but... The wealthier the province, the more money it makes. It's the same as... It's like, okay, let's take this. So a very poor weaver's cottage makes 600 wealth plus 13 per turn to town wealth. Whereas a prosperous weaver's cottage adds an extra 450 gold per turn. So that's pretty damn good. Although it's going to cut down immediately on the places we can upgrade, but we're going to spend as much cash as possible 
Let's see, a prosperous trading port's good as well. Oh, that's the star. That's the army they got knackered. Well, the army, not, not knackered. Knackered is the wrong word for it. Severely damaged. Okay, you put an iron, work, iron workshop there. Keep. You keep uh, besieging them there. So we're currently not at war with Russia. See, Cairo would be nice to take. Cairo is a valuable region. Um, although I do still want to grow this army and send them west. Well, well yeah, it is send them west to take these two islands. But I think the prudent decision for now is to spend... <laughs> spend some turns upgrading our economy. Including roads. And I am very, very much focusing on Italy rather than the uh, the frontier and that's very much deliberate because I do want to maximise that return on investment because that's how you get your economy to snowball don't know if you guys can hear that it is absolutely chucking it down outside which makes me pretty glad that I'm actually uh, inside recording videos and playing games <laughs> going outside is great but you know it's almost well it's late late autumn early early winter um but in britain god sweden's moving two stacks into the baltics to attack the russians that's a whole lot of troops they're shifting around okay Yeah, Barbary states are being annoying, but they're at peace with us. It looks like. Ah. The British tried to move on Tripoli. Good, so you've got Wealth of Nations. You can... You might actually start to go down the naval tech tree. So I want to get the movement. The movement bonus. That would be pretty good to have. See, we lost some cash that turn. Not lost, but we just didn't gain church school in Constantinople to start to convert the population towards Christianity. Okay, I'm farm buildings at the bottom of the list. Instead, I want to build Iron Master's works. Okay, now let's build a few farms. Although maybe. You're a growing port. You're a prosperous port. It might be good to actually upgrade this. Or maybe this one to get more trade routes. That's a good idea. Some of our priests or researchers have got um, more skills. Can you no longer... Oh no, you're okay to research that, I suppose. Good. Then let's spend some more cash on this army. It's going to take a few turns to build this army back up, but I think right now, while we've got a relative peace, I mean, the Ottomans are probably going to sally out from Bulgaria, but this is the kind of thing we need to do every so often, is to just stop what we're doing, stop fighting battle after battle after battle after battle, and spending your money on just reinforcing, when you've got some breathing space, actually take stock of your empire, and strengthen its foundations. That's the that's the core of the matter, I think. So we'll start to see more well, some of the more advanced industry buildings being built. Here come the Georgians with a full stack. Income is slowly going down. Oh, it's because of our trade with the Barbary States has been blockaded. Okay, Larissa has grown. So let's knock down the seminary here. Let's build a new one in Athens. Then we can send you guys promptly forward to Sofia. There's lots of scope to invest here, but I want to maximize 
My return on investment. Ooh. Hey, you can upgrade this guy to a commercial basin. So you can see I can only really build one major building per turn. But as soon as you start to crank the turns out soon, we will be making lots of cash. Sufficiently, or significantly more, to offset any trade deficit that may arise from our allies being blockaded. <laughs> no peace. See, the Poles are actually in a bit of a pickle. Because it looks like the Russians have stormed in and taken some of the territory. They can't, they can't slash won't fight the Ottomans. Even though they own central Germany. Ah. So it's this tiny garrison that's attacking this army and the balance of power is 50-50, so I'm going to fight it. Just so I don't get screwed over with any um, AI auto-resolve tricks. Because that can get very frustrating very quickly. They have mortars, so we're going to move in quick. We're not going to defend. I'm not even going to be massively bothered about my troop deployment. Whether units are undermanned or overmanned. Bulk my cavalry together. General Pie on the front line. Speed up time on my artillery. Keeps firing. I may run my army forward. Killing a few gunners. Okay, now it starts to do manual control. Let's change the target of my guns to be their garrisons their garrison troops. Let's take this wing instead. Push them right up in their faces. Something like that. They see my tricks. Now those are Islamic swordsmen. Hit them. So we lose a few men this way. Actually, because there's a little clump of them exposed here, I'm gonna send I am gonna send these marines in. It's holding artillery fire. general up. So the victory was sufficiently complete, it's actually going to be worth sending in our cavalry to mop up because they've lost so few men. They will actually, they're likely to gain some sort of experience boost because most of them are alive and they've killed a whole load of them. You come over here and help my general, because he's, he's not going to kill all of these guys. Not that it matters, because we've taken the city, but I do like maximising kills. At least on occasion, sometimes I really can't be bothered. Oh, come on, you guys. Let's bring the others involved. Let's bring my other units, because... So they're being silly. They've not only spread out over a wide area. Their pathfinding is really odd as well. Just 
let it carry on naturally. Oh, they routed. Damn. That wasn't a close victory. That was a stomping. The interesting proposal now is can we make actually a temporary peace with the Ottomans? In order to get down to more empire building. Because we've blown open their front line. Do we attempt to try and make peace? Just because I don't really do this in the games very much. Actually, firstly, before we do that, let's try and make peace with Poland. No, just peace and trade. Threaten. Yeah, fair enough. Peace and trade with the Ottomans. Good. They hate us. But we're peaceful. So I could have taken these regions, but nah, I'm not that bothered. I want to spend some safe turns building up my economy. So what have we built? I've got a mistress, one of our ministers, captured Bulgaria, so let's rebuild this guy. We still do have good enemies over here to the west. Poor iron workshops and government buildings. Build. Let's find a farm to build. Good. So even though I've probably gone over my term, my episode limit, I'm going to carry on for a little bit because all I'm really doing is some doing economy building, which isn't. It's not super interesting. I like it. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside, but I don't. You know, it's not the sort of thing I want to start a new episode doing. Especially as if you're watching right now, you probably don't mind. Yeah, there's all the Ottoman armies. Three stacks that were there at Ankara. They will probably declare on us, because they do hate us. And it probably means we will want to build up our navy. Our navy. I was about to say our navy. Our naval strength. But that comes in hand in hand with our economic strength. So let's take. Good, so a nine grand. So let's just chuck in a fourth rate. Let's start to actually build some proper ships. We don't need all of you guys. Don't need both of you guys, a sloop and a brig. Well, we can go to Nice and we can repair it because we are at peace. We are at peace with Nice. Okay, let's try not to build all the most expensive stuff we can, or maybe that's the best option really. These big ticket items like commercial basins, just get them out of the way. So we've got some good buildings built. Church school on Larissa to keep the Catholic faith going strong. Awesome. So now, while the world tears itself apart, we will be starting to roll in some serious cash. It's got 9,000 that turn. If we can keep that going for a couple of turns, we can get some a lot of things done in very few turns. Yeah, so the naval the naval component I was discussing is the idea that we need to keep our navy strong because I can I can tell the Ottomans will immediately catapult all of those armies around. Yes, like that, something like that. So maybe I might want to queue up a bunch of fourth rates sooner than I would like. 
Although if we keep adding one per turn, it'll keep the, the build line going strong. Longitude watch, so that's giving us more range immediately. Let's just take this fleet, deploy them out towards the Turks, ready. You see, it's tempting to de declare on them again, just to kill these guys in a really easy naval engagement. But let's keep adding ships, because I don't know how long it's going to last. Let's take one of these guys over to Taranto. Verona, then you go on to... Naval architecture is pretty good. We're more bothered about cost rather than sustainment. See, I'm probably going to try and build one military building just to keep unlocking the research tree. Or, no, let's just, just, say, let's just say screw it and build. College is a good idea. New workshop is a good idea. Getting them all up to top tier. Buildings. Hmm. So since you guys over here, just have a look. We can raid, because we're not raiding the Ottoman trade specifically, we're raiding people we don't like. So you can just sit there and raid and see what, what you get, what you attract. So we're really ramping up the money now, so we're about 10,000 a turn. The Brits have taken the North African coast, and that's probably going to be... They're going to rebel like mad. Because Western powers, it really takes a lot of concentrated effort to uh, to take out or to, to subdue the North African coast. See, there's a risk. They might take this as an opportunity to attack us back. Or to... Well, they most likely will take this as an opportunity to gather their strength. And they are more than welcome to try. I wager we will be able to outproduce them and outspend them. And they may end up actually fighting a war against Britain. Because they now have a coastline. Commercial base, 11,000. Now we're cooking. Can it even be a royal palace? Okay, let's get some... Okay, now let's start to actually grow this army a bit. So you've got your Grenadier Guards. You want probably... Okay, let's get you... Another two use of howitzers, another foot artillery. Let's get you some fusiliers. That's enough to tide you over. This fourth rate, you go over to this fleet up here. Just keep growing the fleet. Let's probably start to do some cheaper upgrades as well. Well, let's be honest, just general farms are probably a good idea. This is a good idea for sure, because you're a wealthy region. Let's upgrade a farm as well. Ah, oh, well, the light galley was already here. <laughs> okay, good. Actually, let's get you over here. To block out any tricksy efforts. Good. Spend what little we can replenishing this army up here. Yep. Just keep doing some stuff like this. Because right now we're growing loads of trade or tax income. Which is super valuable because it can't be stopped. It can't be blockaded. It can't be interfered with. I mean, obviously, apart from invasion. That'll, that'll put a stop to it. But 
But right now I'm glad things have cooled off a bit. Actually give us this time to build up. Another water mill. Got lots of stuff we can build, but don't want to necessarily build it yet. Okay, now let's start to actually spend some money in these foreign lands. Actually, I've got Toronto. Oh yeah, I do need to keep upgrading this. I need to build the gunnery school so I can research or get down towards quick climb shells. Another fourth rate ship of the line. So let's get Pachea Abondanza to join. Actually, you can. Who did we. You ran straight into an Ottoman oh. fleet. So let's strengthen the fleets we have first before we do anything crazy. We've got six turns before we can upgrade to the next level uh, dockyard and start building top tier fleets. Let's see, what are the French up to? Are they going to declare war on us? <laughs> Call it. Call in the Allies. Sweden has refused to join our side. So, the, which army do I want to recall to fight that menace? Yeah, the Ottomans are definitely coming after us. Which is pretty understandable. I mean, I'm tempted to go for it, just to get that seven, extra seven grand, even though I don't like doing it. Because obviously they've shown themselves to be fairly unreliable by not backing us when we need it. But say, la vie. Hey, trading port at Nice. They've, there's a spy up here. Let's not repair it it's going to be ripe for an attack. So who are you? Theodore Busso. Yeah, that's a pretty good fleet. But is it better than mine? Alla via così, Capitano. So what have you got? Fourth rate, war galleon, fifth. I mean, lots of these are, some of these are damaged. They have a couple of fourths, and they have a second rate, Charlemagne. I think, to be honest, if I group my fleets together, I, pr I would have a good shout. That's a big block of fourth rates. Okay, first. Oh, you can't... Can you get here and join the battle? Ooh, okay, we have to do, do a trade. Okay, let's take my Admiral, second tier Admiral, out and instead Signore. drop the fourth rate in. This lone Admiral, go back to Heracleon. Drop a couple of. Drop, drop some quids on ships to replace the ones we are about to lose. Get these troops across to Naples. You need. Once you recruit your fusiliers, you need two more units. Don't have any heavy cavalry to give you. I can get cuirassiers and heavy cavalry if I build the military academy. Hmm. It's pretty well created out with artillery. Units of guards. Happy drinker. Is that my general? Is he a drunk? He is. But he's pretty good. Okay. We've sorted that out. Trade agreement with France has been cancelled, so our income is down. 
it was over land, so we don't gain anything. Let's see if we can peace out with Spain. It does mean we haven't got we can't take this area, but to be honest, war against France is it's, it's gonna be pretty good anyway. Especially now we can repair this craft workshop. Okay, do you need to start rolling out roads to more places? Probably going to be the Istanbul army that comes down this way to take them out. So let's let's get my army in position before I forget. Let's immediately build some infantry as a garrison. Drop my army here. Let's drop my light galley back at Thessaloniki. Let's engage the French Navy in the largest naval battle I've actually fought to date. Should probably win. We outgunned them quite severely. Um, but looking at the timer, we're well over, and I think now is going to be. This will be a good episode to start next time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a pretty big naval battle. Cheers, everyone.